So today we are going to see a concept known as request dispatcher. So why this request dispatcher is required means suppose consider I am having a web application where first I will open a register page. So after the registration page like here when you give the values and click register these values will be taken by the web server and web server cannot interact with the particular database or cannot generate the dynamic page for that reason we use servlets second thing so here first registration page will be there few text box <coughs> suppose username password phone email I'm having four particular things okay now when I click this register button the values will be transferred to a web server because web server takes all the input right so here a web server is there now web server cannot generate the dynamic page that's the reason it is using a servlet that servlet you can say it as register servlet for registration okay like here again one more page will be the login where you can use this login page to generate or go to a home page right this is a login page you can say and there is a login servlet and whatever that outside is there it's a home page you can say so first thing first here it is register.html next after that we have a login.html ok so the controller will be transferred from these values like it will be taken and given to the web server web server takes these values and gives it again to the register servlet so what happening once you register we need the login.html code because we get a message that registered successfully and you will get the login page right so this code must be included in our register servlet So what you have to do now, we have to include login.html. The same way after login, if you click the submit, the values will be taken and these values will be transferred to the login servlet. So here it's a login servlet. Means actually it will be taken by the web server. Web server transfers them to the login servlet, right? So the same thing here login servlet next from this login servlet you have to go for a home dot html page right so what is happening the control is getting transferred like forward forwarded to home dot html so this is a process means in one servlet we need to include the HTML code in another servlet we need to transfer the control to HTML so transferring of these controls everything can be done using request dispatcher okay so here we have a concept known as request dispatcher 
So what is request dispatcher? First of all, we should know what are the methods present in request dispatcher. Like say Java P space, Java dot, Java X dot, servlet dot, request dispatcher. Okay. And in this thing, we have only two methods. One is forward, one is include. Whose parameters are servlet request, servlet response, servlet request, servlet response objects. Okay. And this forward include methods will be there. So what is forward, what is include method? What they do, we have to see. Like void forward is there, request comma response, void include is there, request comma response. Right? So among this, now forward and include is there. Like if you want to call the methods, we need object. But what is request dispatcher? Request dispatcher is a interface. So we can't create the object for interface, right? So we need to search for the factory method. So what is the factory method? We have Java P space, Java X dot, servlet dot, servlet request. Okay? So for this, we have a particular method known as a get request dispatcher. So what is get request dispatcher is doing? It has a parameter known as string whose data type is request dispatcher object which generates a request dispatcher object okay now I have to call this get request dispatcher so we need to call it by using salute request means request object so who is generating that request object servlet engine in servlet request we have a method known as get a request dispatcher we have a string as a parameter and the return type will be request dispatcher okay now so get request dispatcher is a method and request dispatcher is a interface this reference will be generated so what is string and what is the re request and response we have to see so first of all I said when you click the register you should go to the register servlet and when I write the register servlet it should include this login so for include the page or a program we need to use a include method means what's happening in the include in a servlet code the HTML code will <coughs> included the control is transferred from servlet to another servlet or HTML or you can say JSP also and here also HTML not only HTML you can say servlet or HTML both can be there okay so these are the two methods which are very important to have a control on the application now already we know that we have to call this request dispatcher like get request dispatcher using request object so usually we write like request dispatcher rd equals to request dot get request dispatcher right the string is nothing but the page where you want to transfer like login dot html and if you want you can give the slash slash indicates that next file which has to be executed next rd dot 
include you can say where request comma response these two request and response object will be included okay and here this method will not work efficiently if you have HTML code inside your servlet okay for that reason we have a request dispatcher object created in another way means ikkada two lines kaakunta okate line lo nenu ippudu application mottham complete chestunnanu like request dot get request dispatcher slash login dot html dot means ikkada mottham object generate avutundi aa object totine inko method ni call chestunnam enta method include request comma response ante system dot out dot printer and laga create and request dot get request dispatcher ante naku oka object vastundi request dispatcher lantidi based on that we can call the include method okay so this line of code will work even though you have html code written inside your servlet and the code will be included in the servlet after that we have one more thing known as request dispatcher rd equals to request dot get request dispatcher if you want to call the like home dot is you want to transfer the control now so rd dot forward request comma response so this will work fine here it is include and here it is forward so if you want you can reduce that lines of code for forward also just we can use the same thing and instead of saying include we just have to call a method known as forward and in this we have to say it as instead of login.html we have to say it as home.html so response and nemo control transfer avutundi like forward ante nemo and include ante nemo oka file oka code inko file lo include avutundi and for this already we have written the register.html login.html register servlet login servlet just we have to include this request dispatcher code adi include chesthe saripothundi meeku okay so whenever you modify this you need to generate a like dot class file again and we have to write a home.html right so we'll write the home.html also so first thing first register application we need to write a home application home dot html okay it's nothing but simple just i'll write html and body i'll consider the bg color again as same wheat and uh, in that we have enter i'm writing the h1 tag as welcome to so let's a uh, welcome to home page okay just i'm writing here a static thing we'll change it again so center so body will be there again after the body the html code will be there okay so this is what just you can say home dot html that's it where you are creating this again go for the e drive tomcat in web apps we have register application here in this register application you have to create it as home dot html so we have home dot html right apart from that if you go to the login page then sometimes 
you might to go for the register right so I can give a particular BR break that particular line then we have a anchor tag H reference where you can link from this page to another page like register.html click to register so if I click that link it will get to register now okay and the same way when you are trying to log in or register like when you are trying to register you might have to log in also so what you can say here just ah reference equals to login.html then click to login so just say the anchor tag save it okay now what I said first it will open the register.html register.html if you click login and login could help to click to register and register could help to me fine so in register click chase now to do when we submit it should go to register servlet so I'll open this here in the register servlet or we can use the notepad plus plus now so here init method is there and connectivity is there I'll just use that notepad itself it's better so init method connectivity is there insert into the table along with that execute update right but we need to write the code already we have written the HTML code right so I don't want the h1 now so once the registered successfully the control must be transferred from this page to a particular login page so ikkada login page kela ilali manam request dot get request dispatcher login dot html include cheste login keltunnamo okay and if this particular link fails error in registration ochinappudu we have to go to register.html itself okay so the message display here a message the part to e particular link display also okay so next thing here after registration it will go to login.html so when I just now to login.html open just now register application log login.html so if you don't log in you can register and when you click the login button what will happen it will go to the login servlet so I can see my login servlet kill on the land a web dot xml and on the one of your little pattern match our link up to the login servlet open this again here we have the driver manager dot get connection request dot get parameter this username password is important and we are selecting the EMP32 username and password if it is true then we are writing that particular code like user successfully logged in successfully but instead of that you can directly say that we have to transfer the control from this particular page to home.html so here I'll write this home.html okay you can get login servlet login servlet lo home.html and then key transfer just now but wrong details is the okay wrong details message print ie big molly login.html x0 to me so request dot get request dispatcher wrong details and at the water e particular code and include a wall and you put okay again I'm removing the h1 tag so now save it so you can only html like html or chai inquiry login servlet reach a servlet run to dot class files mali generate chai so copy the path entire path 
after copying open the command prompt and uh, cd space e drive java c space what we have we have register servlet dot java next again java c space login servlet dot java so no dot class well generate ip next web dot xml correct in the leda web.xml is working fine or not we can check it by using opening with the internet explorer <coughs> and if it's working fine check whether lib contains the ogdbc 14 most people most student forget to keep the ogdbc 14 and you will get class not found exception so make sure everything is perfectly done okay now you can start the server so I already done it in the Eclipse so I will stop that so here Tomcat pin you can open the server once the server is running in the browser you can type the registration application in the application name So here once that server has been run properly go for that browser localhost colon 8088 slash we have register application register dot html okay and once you come to register I'll give a name okay I'll give it as like Kiran. Kiran as the password. Some name, some number one zero two one eight one nine eight. Here, Kiran at the rate gmail dot com. It will go to the servlet when you click this button, and after registration, it will say registered successfully. And you should get a login dot html page so here you can see the message user registered successfully then you are getting the page don't worry about the design part we'll change that also here first I just say Kiran again I have to give Kiran and just say login welcome to home page so the control is getting transferred from one page to another page now right so this is request dispatcher program so what is happening I'll explain from the start and each and every step just try to see first register.html will get executed okay so I'm editing that particular register.html and in this register.html when I click the register button it will go for the action what is that action dot slash register from here the control is transferred to the web inf web dot xml so web dot xml is there open that web dot xml in this web dot xml it will search for slash register it will take the registration app and go for the servlet name then register servlet so here register servlet will get executed like from the start database connectivity is happening in this line then after the database connectivity the username password phone email this must be there so if you see these are taken from the register dot servlet itself like here username password phone if you see here username pass phone email so this must be same when you have these are same there won't be any null pointer exception but if you don't have these are same you will get null pointer exception okay now 
after this it will insert into the database by sending the username password email mobile this order again must be same as the database columns second point you have to remember this username must be same as HTML again this username order must be same as the database like four query strings has been given now after giving the values when you go for that registered successfully when you call request dot get request dispatcher this login dot HTML include request response means this login dot HTML will be included in our program so again you have to go for the login dot HTML code okay so from here it's going to the login dot HTML in this login dot HTML we'll have action as dot slash login so already we have seen the web dot XML where slash login will be there login app has to be taken login app will have a login servlet then you will go for the login servlet class so login servlet and uh, here this login servlet will have the database connectivity and after the database connectivity username and password this must be same as the login servlet like here username is there the same thing must be there in the request.get parameter and pass is there it must be same in the pass so first I'll check whether these values username password are present in the database or not by using the command select star from EMP32 where username is placeholder password is placeholder next I am sending the two username and password after that if that query is true you will display you will directly go to the home.html you won't display anything you directly go and if the details are wrong it will go to the login.html suppose consider I am showing you in the browser again like here if I am giving the Kiran I am given another password wrong details given means in Facebook also you get the same thing when you give the wrong details it will say wrong details given and just ask you to enter the details but this is not design friendly right this is no design at all just written some static page two or three lines and I have done the code now I'll give you some design pages here like suppose I close all the files now here I have some HTML pages you see what are this HTML or the design part you can see like suppose HTML so this is a design part CSS has been written the design has been done images has been set and uh, JavaScript has been written jQuery has been written the index.login.html register.html and welcome.html or you can say home.html also you can take okay now if I open this index.html what is happening you got a bank uh, HDFC bank okay you got the design part also if you want to have another design also you can have it then click the register.html so it's executing the register.html then click the login.html executing the login.html right so for that reason what you have to do I can use these files now there is no Java code written here here only the HTML files are there already the design has been done I downloaded it from the Google so what I will do I'll copy all these files and if you have this copy I'll just paste it in the register application so before that we have to remove them right so I'll delete all these files and no, 
no need of this. I have again replaced them with a login home index register. So why this index means when the server runs, when you try to up run your application, by default index.html file will be opened even though if you're not mentioning any file. Suppose here I have to mention like in this scenario whenever I'm trying to execute if I don't mention anything directly I'll say register dot like register application I got this index.html itself because I changed it here right I changed them to index.html now when I click register what's happening enter username password email phone is coming right so you have to make sure this is running application now you have to make sure whatever the names we are given in the input type like here I'll open the register.html in the input type name attribute will be there right that name attribute must be same as the attributes which we are given in this outlet so here you can see the form action the dot slash register is there or not yes we have dot slash register in the web dot xml edit that so you have to check it cross verify slash register and slash register is there or not first thing you have to change this action attribute next name attribute will be their username so whether it's username or not so where you can find that in the servlet or register servlet like here I'm having the register servlet and this username is there so this username and this particular username is same fine and this pass is there but here it is password so it's not correct right so either I can change here or either I can change here so I'll change it here as password or do one thing don't change anything copy paste it it's better okay so it's better when you do larger applications it's useful next you have email okay you have email next you have phone so you have phone fine there is no issue you can do the things save this thing as it is I have changed the password so again you have to compile right so I'll compile the register dot servlet java next after this when you register it should transfer to the login.html right so it will go to the login.html when I give the username and password and click it will go to home.html but before that in login or uh, you can see this login.html must be opened and after opening it you have to verify the name and the action attribute so search directly for the action if you're not able to find it search for the action it says dot slash login the slash login is there and here also slash login is there it's fine next again I have to like see this thing as login servlet right so I'll go to the login servlet In this login servlet you have to get the values here username is there password is there the same thing is there or not in this you have to verify here username is there fine here also username is there but here it's password here it is pass so it should be changed so here I'm just changing from password pass to password so if you are changing means you have to compile again so I'll compile the login.html login server dot java also. So next thing after compiling all the things you have to restart the server because without restart the dot class file will not take effect. That's the reason now restart the server. So what will happen now? So here you can go for the browser 
in the browser you can directly open this thing like localhost colon 8088 slash just register application that's it I'm not giving any page now see here clearly just enter then automatically register dot HTML like index dot HTML will be opening okay so now when I click register register dot HTML is getting open so it's saying enter username I'll enter the username as Shiva enter the password I enter the password as Shiva Shiva at the rate gmail.com next phone number like uh, 89783125222 okay so just click register so what's happening now the user registered successfully and you are getting the login page actually this message must come here we'll see all those things also okay apart from that first we should know when I'm giving the Shiva when I'm giving the Shiva enter login so what will happen it's coming to the home page now login servlet sorry login dot like say, home dot HTML it's getting executed means the control is getting transferred so here we need to sort out few things like if it's a HDFC bank you should know how to deposit before that you should know how to apply or you should know how to give a account number for that particular user at the time of registration okay just today's concept was like how to change the particular normal static page to like design part so what I have done I just copy pasted it I have done nothing else just copy paste and done this thing okay and uh, this is the entire application you have to do it again I'll give you these pages just write on the request dispatcher in the same old code just two lines or three lines I have changed today nothing else and I have shifted the control from one page to another page successfully so that's the entire application understood try to send this application by tomorrow